how to make an amazing hair for next. Materials needed for today's tutorials, we need a fashion fabric, our lining can be set in or any affordable lining, but to wear it in and out, you need set in to give it a new look. We have our scissors, our tape measure and thread here with our marker, chalk or pencil and do. So let's start with Okay, so first, let's cut our satin. Fold your fabric into four. So first, we have to fold it into two. Then, there's the second fold. So these, these two folds will give us four layers of fabric. So I meant you have to get four layers of fabric. So four folding. Then, you take your tape measure, then your marker. So I'm using this, this is white, white won't do, so you need something which is white, so you can use your pencil or a pen. So let's use pencil. So let's use a measurement of 9 inches as the radius, okay? Alright, so you start from the point in here, this will be a few points. So from any edge, you measure 9 inches, so 9 inches here. If it's for an adult, you can extend the inches and take 13 inches or 14 inches to enlarge your hair with length. But for today, let's take to 9 inches. So you measure your 9 inches. 9 inches. 9 inches. 9 inches. Connect these points, your mark point together to form a circle. Still, if you have a curve, you can still use your curve for the connection. Now let's cut it out on the line. Remember to place your hand on the fabric whilst having to prevent any shaking. So you see, now we have a round or a circular thing. Use the same pattern to cut your fashion fabric. So this is our fashion fabric. Let's use the same pattern. And you know you have to fold it into two and four as well. So you can refold your circle back. Then use it to cut the main fabric. This can serve as a pattern as a guide, so you don't need any marker. Just place your hand on it and cut around the edge. Okay, so now we have the two being cut. So that's it. Nicely done. Our next step is to join these two. So let's move on to the stitching pads where we have to join these two and what you have to do there's the right side of your fabric the right side you put the two right side together then you stitch half an inch all around leaving a small part about one inch uh, to turn it out okay so let's move to the stitching part So that you can turn everything in when you pull out. So that's how it's going to look like. In for this out. So from this, you have to mark one inch away you make a stitch on that one inch then you leave an interval of half an inch then you stitch on that so you have two stitches you have two stitching line With the help of a safety pin, 
you can push it through. So just leave yourself sitting at the edge, then push it through, then pull quickly. So you pull, take your time and do your thing without it. We are almost there. So you bring your sexy pull at the edge. Now you have the elastic. So you take your, your pin out. You take the two pins out. You, so you can see the edges of the two elastic. So all that you have to do is to bring the two elastics together, then join. Okay. So for this, you have to double stitch. So cut, trim all threads to make your work little. Now oh, you can push it in and spread the gadget, okay, through that. So this is how you for our hair bonnet. At least when you turn it, the raw edges will be showing. So what you can do, if you have a helmet, you can use a helmet. Then you iron it, the edge or that part will be used, or you can stitch over. Okay, so you just make a turn, then stitch over. Done with our tutorials. This is how the how to look like, then the in will look like. We, as I said, you can wear it both out and in. So this is the in of it for your babies. If you want to also wear one as a mother or your, for yourself as a grown up, you just increase the size. So this is the cover. So from our next video, I'm going to show you how to make a fascinator for your hair look amazing at church or anywhere, even for your weirdest. So don't just view, but keep on subscribing to my channel to have feedback from every new tutorials I do.